Welcome to our demonstration on VMware Data Services Manager and how we are going to enable a clustered Postgres SQL database to make it highly available. This is one of the features of VMware Data Services Manager. To begin, we'll log into our Data Services Manager UI. We can see we have a namespace, which is a vSphere resource that we can use for provisioning databases. And we already have a standalone Postgres database deployed, but not yet configured. So in order to make it highly available or to cluster it, we need to create replicas. And our first read replica, I'm just going to call PG replica one. So that actually initiates the creation of two virtual machines. Uh, one of these is, of course, the replica, but the other one is the PG monitor. So this can be thought of as our witness component or our quorum device, and is essentially watching the Postgres uh, SQL database for failover events. So I won't keep you hanging around. We'll very quickly roll out this Postgres SQL uh, replica as well as the monitor. And we can see now that the monitor is online. It's created successfully, and we're automatically backing it up. We'll have a look now at the operations that are ongoing, and now we're currently creating the first read replica. And again, I can speed things along here to clone the database and actually configure it. And now we see the first replica has come online for our PostgreSQL database. So there we have our PG Monitor VM, our original database and our first replica. However, in order for HA to be complete, we need a second read replica. And that's what we're going to do here as well. We will build a second read replica and make the HA configuration uh, fully complete, fully compliant. And again, I'm not going to keep you hanging around watching all of these operations of clone and configure and so on. I'll speed through these very quickly. And now we have our second replica created, as we can see here. So great. So at this point, once all the replicas enter an active state, there we go, the HA status is now complete. So we now have a clustered PostgreSQL database. I want to show you another feature of Data Services Manager, and this is the ability to promote the different replicas into the primary mode. So we can see here using our PG auto CTL command that it's the uh, the standalone database that we initially created is the primary one. And now what we wish to do is promote one of the replicas to be the primary. And you can see how easy that is to do through the Data Services Manager UI. You can see that the status of the replica is changing to be modified. You can see the promote task taking place here and get more details of that promote task. And so once that completes, we'll pop back to our CLI. It should be almost done at this point. Yeah, you can see that the replica is in primary. So now when we pop back to our CLI and we query from our PG auto CTL command, you can see that the replica is now a primary. Uh, thank you for watching.